This is the tutorial lesson on division with remainder as a fraction. And I'm going to try and keep this nice and short because um, I just want to refresh your memory on what that is. We're going to do a we do and a you do. And hopefully that will be enough to get you back into the game on, on how to do the division with the remainder as a fraction. So this problem will be a we do. And go ahead and copy it down onto your tutorial page. This is going to be 433 divided by 5. And I decided to do the tutorial with a single digit instead of, as we did in the lesson, we did the double digit divisors. This time I'm going to do single digit because it's my goal that you just understand how to do the, the d remainder as a fraction. So we're going to ask ourselves, can 5 fit into 4? And our answer would be no, 5 does not fit into 4. And actually before I even do that, I've already forgotten, let's do the cages. Or if you have graph paper, you can use graph paper because it's really important to keep it nice and neat. Now I can ask myself, because really what's happening is of 5 times 0 is 0. I have a 4 remainder and I bring the 3 down to play. He gets to play now. And now I ask myself, will 4 fit into 43? It sure will because 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 9 is 45, that is too high. So it's got to be 5 times 8, and 5 times 8 is 40. We subtract, my remainder is 3. Yes, it is smaller than that. Be sure to check that. And since it is smaller than that, I can invite the next player to come play. Can 5 fit into 33? It can. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 7 is 35, which is too high, so it's got to be 5 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30. And I subtract and I get a remainder 3. And I don't have any more numbers to bring down to play right now, so I'm at the end of this dividend. And since we're doing remainder as a fraction, um, what I'm going to say is 3 out of 5 are left over. So instead of remainder 3 like we used to, we're going to say 3 out of 5 from here are left over. So the numerator, sorry, the remainder becomes the numerator and the divisor becomes the denominator. And that's how you make the remainder as, into a fraction. And basically what that leftover is saying is there's three left so if I was trying to fit um, the five groupings in three didn't there were three that were left out so that's what the remainder basically says so three out of the five were left out and now we'll do a you do we're gonna do 217 divided by four you go ahead and pause this and try it and if you get stuck, let me catch up with you, plus play, so I can catch up with you and walk you through it and work your way all the way through. If you can get all the way through, then press play and see what the answer is. Okay, so you have either gotten stuck or you've gotten all the way through to an answer. So let's check and see what we've got. I put my gel cells, and here I go. Four fitting into two doesn't fit. Zero, no, no, no. Zero times four is zero. That's the only number that I was playing with. Now that's the remainder. Bring down the next player because this number is smaller than that. So next player is allowed to enter the game. Will 4 fit into 21? It will. It will fit, let's see, 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 6 is 24, which is too high. So it must be 4 times 5, which is 20. Subtract. I get 1 left over. 1 is smaller than the 4, so I'm good to continue. If it wasn't, I would say, oops, I made a mistake somewhere and go back. All right, now I am 4 into 17. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20, which is too high, so it must be 4 times 4, which is 16. And 7 take away 6 is 1. And I'm at the end of the number now. So I'm just going to take this remainder. So there was one left out. One little guy left out. I don't know, he couldn't go to the party or whatever. So you take this and bring it up as your numerator to say that one out of the four couldn't go. That's what that remainder means. 
one out of the four couldn't go, or one out of the four needed another bus, or whatever. So the answer being 54 and 1 fourth. And that is the quick tutorial on dividing and having that remainder become a fraction. Go ahead and practice on your worksheet, your tutorial worksheet, and see if you're able to handle that better this time around compared with uh, the last time I covered this.